Hello! Hope you guys are doing well. This is a poetry reading. It's called First Date. Okay. <laughs> she turns her head slightly as he kisses her goodnight on the cheek. Head held high, he walks back to the car, not wanting to appear, to appear weak. Without looking back, she disappears into the house and closes the door. Another fantasy with a dead end. She sighs and collapses to the floor. He drives off wondering, what's wrong with me? Why did I get turned down again? I was polite. I opened the door for her. She didn't seem interested in other men. Self-doubt creeps in. It's like a seed planted that blossoms like that. But wait, hey, maybe it's her. I mean, she was a bit fat. <laughs> She opens the freezer, pulls out the ice cream. To hell with trying to look good. I'm sick and tired of all these pretending men. My only real companion is food. I saw how he looked at me, judged me, when I wanted to order a dessert too, then comes up with excuses to cut the night short. Symptoms of the flu. All the nerves of a first date has built up a fever in him. In his confusion, the red light is orange, or so it seems. In the silent night, from the right, a truck comes speeding through. Had he just reaching for that kiss, stayed a moment longer, if he only knew. She stands up from the table and the phone rings. Maybe it's him. She answers, hello, with a smile. There's been an accident. Your number was on the phone, ready to be dialed. In shock, she swallows. Is he okay? Is he fine? Is it too late? He is in shock, dear, but fine. Mumbling on about his wife that he just met on a date. He lifts his head in disbelief of how the truck just, just passed him by. As his life flashed before him, he realized he can be that better guy. He opens the door, legs shaking as he tries to stand. Don't you scare me like that again, comes a voice as she softly takes his hand. 